Restored Republic via GCR update as of April 22, 2020. Divide they try, fail they will, where we go when we go all. To support POTUS, follow Q and trust plan. For the last seven months the Pentagon Pedophile Task Force has overseen thousands of troops rescuing from the Cabal's underground tunnels across the U.S., thousands of tortured children, and said they had more to go. Right now those who worshipped Satan were raping, torturing and murdering children. They lived across the globe, and right next door. Please pray and fast for the children and the troops risking their lives to rescue them. Then go wherever God directs you to go to save them. The ancient doctrine of fasting and prayer was explained at the 10.30 and 32 seconds mark here, www.youtube.com where blink. Judy note, on Tuesday the 21st of April the petrodollar tanked because of the crash in oil prices. Dragon bonds were paying out to provide liquidity for tiers 1-4. The gold standard could be announced at any time and tier 4-B, the internet group, was expected to go tomorrow or Thursday the 23rd of April. Last Wednesday the 15th of April the elders released global currency reset monies from the Dubai One holding account and now the RV could not be stopped. All would be paid out this week. Monday the 20th of April S oil market price crash destroyed the deep state's petrodollar, though it would not affect the new Iraqi dinar rate as Iraq had signed contracts to pay back the loss. Dragon bonds were presently paying out to provide liquidity for tiers 1-4. Tuesday the 21st of April 1.14 p.m. ED team filming, our Intel military contact said that the Departments of Defense and Justice, plus White House and U.S. Treasury teams worked on things overnight and then on Tuesday the 21st of April at 10 a.m. EDT gave a release for all to commence over the next 48 hours, pending arrests and cleanup completion today Tuesday the 21st of April. It was my understanding that we might obtain the 800 hash s by Wednesday morning the 22nd of April and no later than Thursday the 23rd of April. Stimulus monies for Social Security direct deposits were going out and would finish by Friday the 24th of April. Those stimulus checks going through the government website would go out next week. Presently the prosperity packages were going out and would finish up by next week. Thursday the 30th of April was the expected deadline to redeem Zim bonds and exchange certain foreign currencies at contract rates. Friday the 1st of May was the expected deadline for the general public to begin exchanging foreign currencies at the new international rates as shown on the forex at the time of the exchange. Right now there was a war being fought to rescue traumatized children caged in underground tunnels of the cabal that ran throughout the U.S. from Mexico to Canada and California to New York according to the Pentagon Pedophile Task Force. Since last October the U.S. military and Marines have brought out of those tunnels, over 5,000 tortured children, babies and teens, some deceased. Many of the over 170,000 sealed indictments filed in federal courts across the nation since President Trump took office concerned pedophilia and were now being served. Billionaire George Soros and former U.S. Presidents George Bush Jr. and Barack Obama were believed arrested and then, or headed for Gitmo where they faced military tribunals for treason and other serious crimes. Indictments, docs.google.com where blink. Disclosure, most of the below documentaries have been released within the last month. Documentary Pedogate 2020 Inches, In-Depth Exploration, New Info www.youtube.com where blink. Documentary Out of Shadows Official, How the Mainstream Media and Hollywood Manipulate and Control the Masses Using CIA Mind Control Propaganda. www.youtube.com where blink. Documentary Adrenochrome, The Elite's Secret Super Drug Obtained by Torturing Children, m.youtube.com where blink. Documentary The Storm is Here, Illuminati Started the Pandemic for the New World Order while the White Hats were using it to rescue over 3,500 tortured children and arrest perpetrators, www.youtube.com where blink. Pedogate 2020, www.youtube.com where blink. Noah looked like an idiot, until it started raining. The rain is over. Now it's time for pain, Q, www.youtube.com where blink. 2016 Documentary Trump the Coming Landslide and Ancient Prophecy on Donald Trump, www.youtube.com where blink.
The enormity of what is happening will shock the world. Q. DDK www.youtube.com web link. It's about time Hillary Clinton Foundation under serious investigation. www.youtube.com web link. A. April 21, 2020 The Big Call, Bruce. BigCallUniverse.com web link 712770401 pin 1234567127704014 hash 712770401 1. Late last night Monday the 20th of April Bruce received report that since the price of oil was so low, negative $47 below zero, it sunk the petrodollar, instigated the GCR, released the heritage funds and enough monies to fund the humanitarian projects. 2. The gold standard could now be announced. 3. Yesterday Monday the 20th of April on Fox News Business they may have given a soft introduction to universal basic income, which was part of Nazara. 4. Paymasters could have their final release codes so they might be able to begin to pay out. 5. The intermediates and all groups were supposed to start today Tuesday the 21st of April, but there was no confirmation on that. 6. As a result of the oil prices 23 global banks, not in the US, went under today Tuesday the 21st of April. The over 50,000 traumatized children rescued by military out of tunnels beneath US cities Judy Byington as reported in Before It's News Before It's News.com web link. Over 50,000 traumatized children have been rescued out of tunnels beneath US cities. Utah.b web link. Operation Disclosure 1.blogspot.com web link. Before it is news.com web link. See Satanic Pedophilia Network exposed, Fiona Barnett, FairFreedomArticles.com web link. Fiona named people who sexually assaulted, raped and tortured her, among whom were Anthony Kidman, actress Nicole Kidman's father, Dr. John Gittinger, Lithuanian Nazi concentration camp guard and CIA agent. Former U.S. President Richard Nixon, former Australian Prime Ministers Gough Whitlam, Bob Hawke and Paul Keating, U.S. Evangelist Pastor Billy Graham and Ted Turner, CNN. Fiona explained how the satanic hierarchical pyramid worked. Roughly speaking, at the lowest level, you had street gangs, next, organized crime and the mafia, next, recruits into the elite club, then, above that you had just pedophiles those who rape children but who have no satanic connection. Finally, at the very top you have elite VIPs who are full-fledged Satanists. Fiona stated that only bloodliners can make it to the top. These people come from the 13 or so Illumanti bloodlines, as exposed by Fritz Springer, David Icke and other researchers. These bloodlines are revered as demigods. The roughly 300 bloodlines or so below that could never make it to the top echelon. The Otto, Freemasons, Scientology, Catholic Church, CIA, Australian military and many others are all branches of the same satanic pedophilia network. It lies at the heart of the international child trafficking ring and new world order. The world is run by a satanic cult whose members have infiltrated the top layers and power centers of Australian, American and British society as well as those of numerous other countries. They are interrelated, bound together by bloodlines and satanism, with pedophilia rape, murder, war and genocide to follow. Fiona warns that every organization in Australia has been infiltrated including hospitals, psychiatry, politics, child advocacy groups, everything. The Satanists have even created a false memory foundation, a fake organization set up by pedophiles, to stop true victims from coming forward with their stories by convincing the public they didn't really experience what they experienced. D. April 20, 2020 sealed indictment issued on Dr. Fawcy, before it is news.com web link. Before it is news.com web link. Before it is news.com web link. The United States Justice Department, on behalf of President Donald J. Trump, has finalized a sealed indictment naming Dr. Anthony Fawcy, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and a member of the Coronavirus Task Force, a traitor to America according to a Washington source is familiar with the issue. The indictment, which currently sits on the Resolute Desk in the Oval Office, charges Fawcy with numerous high crimes and misdemeanors, many of which could see Fawcy stripped of his medical license and deported to Gitmo for the rest of his natural life. 
Those charges reportedly include treason, conspiring with the enemy, and fraud. Article 2 of Section 4 of the United States Constitution states, The President, Vice President and all civil officers of the United States, shall be removed from office on impeachment for, and conviction of, treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. While Fawcett is neither a politician nor a government official, he is a career civil servant and therefore can be charged with criminal malfeasance as is outlined in Article 2, Section 4. Sources close to the Fawcett probe said Trump became suspicious of Fawcett's intentions after reading tweets linking the doctor to a deep state coup designed to cripple his re-election campaign. These tweets alleged Fawcett and none other than Barack Hussein Obama had orchestrated a hoax to tank the economy, spelling doom for a president whose main presidential achievement was fostering an economic resurgence. The tweets surmise the coronavirus is a pretext for stripping Americans of the rights and freedoms they hold dear and that Fawcett wants to usher in a new world order that would abolish the Constitution and replace U.S. leaders with United Nations personnel. Fawcett's fishy behavior at coronavirus press briefings further fueled Trump's suspicion. On March 20, Trump called the State Department the Deep State Department. Standing behind him, Fawcett made a dismissive hand gesture, dropped his head, and rubbed his forehead. Trump took it as a personal slight. Trump doesn't forgive or forget he had his eye on Fawcett, and Fawcett's actions helped confirm the president's suspicions, our source said. Moreover, Fawcett has been a frequent guest of CNN and MSNBC, networks that often criticize Trump's pandemic response endeavors. He has used his status as one of America's most notable physicians to directly contradict Trump's messages. The tweets, combined with Fawcett's radical conduct, prompted Trump to direct the Justice Department to investigate the Fawcett-Obama connection. Investigators learned, and apparently leaked, data proving that in 2015 Obama instructed Fawcett to authorize a $3.5 million donation to a Wuhan virology lab. Fox News and The Washington Post have run articles questioning whether COVID-19 originated at the Wuhan facility. Additionally, a wiretap on Fawcett's phone and electronic devices revealed the good doctor and the disgraced former president have kept a close friendship. Intercepted phone calls and emails showed that Obama and Fawcett had conspired to undermine Trump's authority by having Fawcett give the president unsound medical advice in matters involving the pandemic. First, Fawcett told Trump the virus was nothing to worry about. Then he reversed course and warned Trump COVID-19 would utterly ravage the country unless martial law-like steps were at once taken to curb the spread. Fawcett misrepresented facts and figures, and he artificially inflated the case fatality rate, CFR, by instructing the CDC to label all respiratory distress-related deaths as COVID-19 fatalities, even if the person never received a COVID-19 test. Some examples transcend absurdity. For example, in Quend, NY, a 23-year-old black male had been walking home from a convenience store when a car pulled up alongside him and its driver emptied a pistol magazine in his chest. Two rounds struck his chest, collapsing both lungs. Because he had breathing difficulty and was put on a ventilator prior to death two hours later, hospital staff said the coronavirus killed him. They did not perform a COVID-19 test. In Brooklyn, a 96-year-old diabetic woman with high blood pressure dropped dead when her heart stopped beating. The New York City Medical Examiner's Office listed the cause of death, coronavirus. The next day New York added over 3,000 presumptive positives to the state's growing sum of COVID-19 fatalities. Trump's investigative team unearthed a trove of evidence that proved Dr. Fauci compelled the state to blame all inexact deaths since January on the coronavirus. In doing so, they've amplified the death count. The more coronavirus deaths, the worse Trump looks. And the tighter restrictions get as more states adopt martial law. Trump had enough, and decided he'd put the screws to Fauci, our source said. If all information is correct, Trump's special prosecutor secretly indicted Fauci, charging the deep state doctor with crimes under the Patriot Act and the 1917 Espionage Act. Nevertheless, Trump has yet to fire the popular doctor whose face is synonymous with words like trustworthiness, honesty, and integrity. As the pandemic spread, so too did Fauci's popularity, and his importance at daily press briefings eclipsed that of frontmen Trump and Pence. Sources said Trump will not prematurely fire Fauci, 
because doing so might backfire in his face and cost him the 2020 election. And Forsey will not quit because he likely hopes to plea bargain his way out of a life sentence at Guantanamo Bay. Although the formal accusation is sealed, Forsey knows the gig is up. They've revoked his passport. After Trump wins the election, and after the pandemic has run its course, the indictment will be opened and Dr. Forsey will face a military tribunal to answer for his crimes against America, our source said. E. International Child Sex Trafficking 82 Arrested in Multi-State Child Exploitation Ring, www.wsbtv.com web link. World's Worst Child Torturing Pedophile, neonethyl.com web link. Hollywood Elites Murder Children During Rituals, Macaulay, Culkin, Adam.curry.com web link. Former Child Star Corey Feldman, Pedophilia is Hollywood's Biggest Problem, www.youtube.com web link. F. Currency Exchange, Bond Redemption, please treat the below as my guess. Official instructions would be available upon RV liquidity and 800 hash release. Warning, do not give your foreign currency or Zim bonds to anyone else to exchange or redeem for you. If a group leader was telling you that they could obtain better rates for you, or if they were saying not to go to your first appointment at an exchange center, they were not telling the truth. Anyone could exchange and redeem their own currencies and would have the same ability to obtain the higher contract rates as anyone else as long as they did it at a licensed exchange center. I'm not aware of how someone outside the U.S. could redeem SIM bonds. That question should be asked to the person who set your appointment. An hour or so prior to 800 number release, Wells Fargo and HSBC banks would send out over 508,000 emails to currency and Zim bondholders worldwide, along with instructions on how to exchange and redeem within your own country. Those emails would include links to a secured website. Clicking on that website with your computer or phone would automatically generate a code that identified your individual exchange, redemption as you set your appointment. Exchange information would also be available on certain websites as below. Dinar Chronicles, www.dinarchronicles.com web link. Dinari Recaps, www.dinarrecaps.com web link. Markts, www.twitch.tv web link. Markts Twitter, m.twitter.com web link. Bruce, bigcoaluniverse.com web link. TNT Tony. Twitter.com web link. Dinar Detectives, DinarDetectives.com. G Currency and Zim Bond Redemption, this information applied to redeemers in the U.S. only. Different countries would have their own regulations and rules. Please treat as my opinion only. 1. You would have two appointments. On the first appointment at a redemption center you would exchange currencies at contract rates and redeem Zim at the default rate. Those monies would be put in your account. 2. We have been told that the default ZIM rate of $11 million per 100 T ZIM note would be offered at that first appointment. 3. You could negotiate for higher rates in a second appointment with your wealth manager and private banking team. 4. President Trump has given U.S. banks a list of 250 humanitarian and job creation projects to invest in. Your wealth manager and banking team could explain the details at your second appointment. 5. If you wanted higher rates than offered at the first appointment, at your second appointment with your wealth manager and banking team they would explain the international humanitarian projects you could invest in and you could present your reasons and or your humanitarian project and ask for those higher rates. It was recommended that you go for those higher rates at your second appointment so you could help those in need. 6. If you had any amount of Zim bonds up to 9 100 T notes didn't have a humanitarian project and wanted a higher than default rate, then at your second appointment, your wealth manager and team would be happy to show you the list of 250 humanitarian and job creation projects to invest in for higher than default rates on the Zim. 7. If you had any amount of Zim bonds up to 9 100 T notes and had a humanitarian project, and or if you wanted to invest in the sanctioned international projects, then at your second appointment, your wealth manager and team would help you obtain a higher ZIM rate. 8. Many ZIM holders had 10 or more 100 T ZIM notes, so the default rate would be considered adequate without being awarded higher contract or ZIM rates. H. 22 faces, 
inside the extraordinary life of Jenny Hill and her 22 multiple personalities, Judy Byington. Warning, Jenny gave a graphic description of being raped, tortured and forced to view a child's sacrifice at the tender age of five, not unlike sordid experiences of thousands of other child victims of satanic worshippers. Such perpetrator followers of Satan were organized from the U.S. Incorporated CIA, Queen Elizabeth's, Vatican's Ninth Circle Child Sacrifice Cult on down to the Clintons, Hollywood and Pizzagate and local teenage governs. They appeared funded by this same cabal that ran our global monetary system, the very organization that was in the process of being brought down by activation of the global currency reset. It's no wonder that President Trump has stated, these people are sick. www.youtube.com web link. I Judy note, I do not now, nor have I ever, received monies for writing my updates and articles. The compensation has been in having outlets to help save the children by exposing truths about the very secretive satanic ritual abuse, pedophilia and child sacrifice that was rampant in our international society. To inquire about our international child abuse recovery, trauma survivors, carts, humanitarian program, email, info at 22faces.com. The above was a summary of information from the internet. It would be up to the reader to do their own research and decide whether or not it was valid. A thank you to those dedicated and brave intel providers who wished to remain unknown, to humble wild fear a lady who was adept at exposing the truth, to Brad who did great research and Ken who uncovered almost unlimited intel on pedophilia to help us save the children. Divide they try, fail they will, where we go one we go all. To support POTUS, follow Q and trust plan. Let us thank Q that the reset has finally come to be. I wish you well in your humanitarian efforts and look forward to seeing you on the other side where together, we will make life better for all.